Okay, everyone, good day. Again, there's another video I'm filming this 25th of October 2020. This video is about pests, different type of pests, and different means of pest control. Now, first thing first, the, this is a bird pepper plant. For all those who know, it's otherwise known as bird's eye chili pepper, right? For those who don't know. So, I have an issue where a lot of my plants, as you can see that there, a lot of my plants, I see they have a spider mite and aphid infestation as you can see there i'll see how clearly i can get it right those are spider mites and aphids leaf aphids usually result in curling of the leaves the leaves tend to curl up like as you can see here how these leaves are curling up right that's usually most of the time because of those aphids and spider mites as you can clearly see the underside of the leaf here is filled with them i have this pest issue or this infestation across the board in my entire garden the only plants that are not affected by them thus far are my cacti plants my dragon fruit my prickly pear my aloes have not been affected by them but these peppers have been most widely affected by them as you can see here how they've or on my bygones have been affected by them most drastically right so as you can see here how they've clustered around that pepper bud there that's a problem it's going to not allow the plant to flourish and bear fruit or bear pepper as it should so today i'm going to garden wide yard wide pest control spray no as you can see here this is one of my bygone plants and you can see here how many of them there are they're there in a big way it's a really big infestation right so i'm going to try to get rid of them or at least do some kind of control on them and i'll be using a pesticide by the name of burmesan so i'll be using this chemical known as burmesan 1.8 me plus I, I am holding it with my hand please um everyone do not do not do not do it it's not it's really not safe okay it's a foliar spray and it should be used it should be sprayed under the leaves it can be used on almost every crop as you can see here and it is used pests like mites white flies aphids thrips pinworms leaf miners fruit worms etc right so we are going to be using it on my plants or my entire garden because i have a really large infestation these are my pineapples my pimentos and today it's pest treatment day spider mites and aphids infestation as you can see these are my pimento plants and you can see how these leaves are curled up they are all curled up because of that same aphid spider mite infestation yeah as you can see the ants are getting at them i have to do more research into what that relationship is but it's not a parasitic relationship between the ants and the aphids it's actually a symbiotic relation between the ants and the aphids and it tends to kill the plants okay so we're going to do pest treatment today everybody i'm going to upload this video this video will be uploaded this is the treatment day and then later down in a few days maybe a week or so we'll do an update showing the results day okay so stay tuned for more everybody and again welcome back after short garden okay this is after spraying the pesticide and you can see here how these little wretches are on the move yeah i hope this actually helps with this infestation that i have it's been a real problem let's see if i can get a Ah, there we go. That's a bit clearer. 
So these are spider mites. As you can see, they almost resemble little spiders. Just spread this plant. This is the bird pepper plant. Um, I hope I see positive progress during the course of the week with these pests. Yeah, look at how much of them there. I have a real problem with them. A real, real, real problem. If anyone has advice to have better control methods or prevention methods for these pests, I am all welcome and open to suggestions. With that in mind, thank you everybody. Like, subscribe and share. And I'll keep the content coming as best as I can. Thank you everyone.